It's time to be free. Oh, come on. Yeah. Sure, cables have their place, but should you always be tethered to a wall outlet or power bank when you need a recharge? <laughs> of course not. What are we, savages? That's why wireless charging has allowed us to cut ties with the past and stick to a future where we can fast charge with greater freedom and convenience. And in the realm of wireless charging, two leaders have emerged, MagSafe and Qi2. You probably have some unanswered questions about how these technologies work, their differences, and which one is most compatible with your devices. First, let's talk about MagSafe. MagSafe is a proprietary charging technology developed by Apple. You may recall the first iteration of this tech. It started way back in 2006 with the MacBook Pro's magnetic power connector. Now the idea was later reimagined as wireless charging for iPhones, starting with the iPhone 12 and beyond. In simple terms, here's how it works. Inside the iPhone, there's a ring of magnets surrounding a charging coil. And this allows your phone to align with the wireless charger perfectly and makes it super easy to snap on and start charging. The key benefit is user convenience. There's no cable to fumble around searching for when you're half asleep at night, and there's no cord to be tied to when you're heading out to run errands. Just snap it on and let the magnets do the work. This form of wireless charging is made possible by the Qi standard, which Apple adopted as the basis for MagSafe. What Apple did was introduce magnets into the equation, which they call magnetic power profile. So up until 2023, all chargers using the Qi standard were wireless, but only Apple MagSafe was both wireless and magnetic. Important to note here is that MagSafe is locked into the Apple ecosystem. It's designed only for Apple devices, and any third-party charger must go through Apple's stringent testing and certification in order to qualify as made for MagSafe. Of course, things changed dramatically with the introduction of Qi2. Now here's where things get exciting, because Qi2 is an open standard that was developed by the Wireless Charging Consortium. The main objective of Qi2 was to improve compatibility between different brands and devices. This means many different smartphones, earbuds, and smartwatches can enjoy the benefit of Qi2 wireless charging. And just like Apple borrowed from the Qi standard to create their tech, Qi2 adopts a similar magnetic alignment like MagSafe to ensure maximum charging efficiency. Currently, Qi2 charges wirelessly at a maximum of 15 watts. But stay tuned on that, because in 2025, we should see some updates that will improve those speeds. Now, there are a few myths and misconceptions about wireless charging, so let's clear those up now, starting with one we hear a lot. Wired charging is always faster. That's not entirely correct. What? Sure, wired charging can potentially be faster when you're charging at something like 60 watts or more, but that may not always be the case. Let's look at the Anchor Mago wireless charger stand. Based on internal testing with Qi2, an iPhone 16 Pro can charge in just 114 minutes. That's comparable to Apple's updated 25 watt MagSafe. And using Apple's 30 watt Type-C wired charger, which takes 100 minutes. So yes, wired charging is a bit faster, but the difference is negligible. And in the near future, that gap is sure to close even further. So there's no definitive winner in terms of charging speeds, but you can't argue with the convenience and ease of use that wireless charging offers. Myth number two, wireless charging is bad for your battery. False. Both Qi2 and Apple MagSafe are designed to optimize battery health. In fact, Qi2's smart device communication even monitors the temperature between your phone and the charger. Fun fact, your phone, not the charger, controls the number of watts your phone uses, how fast it charges, when it switches from fast charging to normal, and how much your battery is charged. Myth number three, wireless charging overheats your device. Again, 
False. You see, modern smartphones use sophisticated safety measures that always keep the battery in check. Before things ever get too hot, your phone will decelerate charging as a precaution. And on the charger side, Anchor has its own sophisticated tech, like ActiveShield 3.0, which monitors temperature to maintain safe charging levels. Plus, magnetic power banks like the MagGo 10K Slim are equipped with thermal insulation and graphene for effective heat dissipation. So, the takeaway? Both Qi2 and Apple MagSafe are great options for wireless charging. Qi2 is open source and compatible with more devices, while MagSafe brings that proprietary Apple Touch. Both technologies will continue to evolve and offer improvements. And you can bet that Anchor will meet them with a new line of products for an amazing charging experience. What's your go-to for wireless charging? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more news and info to help you live charged.